Nollywood actress, director and producer Funke Akindele and husband Abdul Rashid Bello have pleaded guilty for defiling the orders of the Lagos state government and have both been sentenced to 14 days mm -hmm. in community service with a fine of 100,000 naira each. They were found guilty of one count charge of hosting a gathering of 20 persons and over, contrary to the social distancing directives of the state government. The couple is also to go into self-isolation for 14 days in an undisclosed location, which will be decided by the Lagos State Ministry of Health. Mm. I mean... <laughs> <coughs> Why are you... Saying, yeah, we need to get your take. Like, right. you know, it is... My my when I read this that they're now getting community service, the first thing I want I, I thought was I wanna know what they're talking about inside the house, like both of them together. I'm sure she's probably saying, sweetheart, but I told you, I warned you. I said don't upload this thing because she was really strategic. Mm -hmm. On her story, she never uploaded any guests. She uploaded like okay, what's going on, life was bubbly at home with family. That's the, kinda like how I knew that she was at fault because she knew what she was doing. And then even the pictures that she uploaded on her timeline it was just with her family, it made it look like, you know, I just really just home alone. Thank you. And mm -hmm. then my guy, when I say men can embarrass you, this is what they mean. My guy was like, hey, acting like he's <laughs> 20. <laughs> like he's having a bachelor party or something. I feel like he's the one that really just jabbed mm. the whole and thing. And even when she was making the video and apologizing, uncle was on the other end doing a live video and saying you put rant and talk too much in yeah. your data yeah. like, He's, okay. he should get he should get like a, a fine from her when they get home because this is this he doesn't no, have like, it like I said, I said work it, you together know, i'm sorry I, I said it she was dumb he, he's dumber you know what i mean wow. um he should get a bigger punishment i expect that so much i'm serious i expect that so much from jj skills but he, he proved to be you know the lesser person between him and his wife and Again, I, I'm, I'm trying to see if there's a way they can downplay the, the, the media paparazzi that this is getting right now. Mm -hmm. um, because already, uh, we all know Funke has a wide following. Uh, mm. Fans will react, people, people will reach out and all that stuff. But I'm just hoping at the end of the day, it does serve as, as a deterrent to other celebrities and other people who feel you, know, you can just flout government orders and get away with it. And so if, if Funke Akindele and JJ Skills are scapegoats right now, that means nobody's is above the law. Yeah. Yeah, so they should, they should do the community service, they should put them in self-isolation <laughs> because we cannot say now for sure if they are not, you know what I mean, having that kind of crowd in your house. Um, like you already said in the morning when we were talking about this, you can't tell those people they've stepped out once or twice, you can't just tell me they're all in your house for, for months, weeks and days without stepping out. Mm -hmm. You must really be like a market or superstar, I mean, you know, and so, uh, we should learn, we already have too many problems as it is as a people, as a nation. All right, so when government passes a law, let's as much as we can try and as much as we can, as much as they say is not in us, innately, to be law abiding people. Yeah. Um, keep to those laws. I think that's and why this you is can... again for the safety of everybody. Think about your loved ones, think about your family, think about the elderly. Think about the little kids. Think about the children, you know? yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's why you can see that people are not like, kind of like seen as an of exaggeration is because a lot of people are not practicing the social distancing oh, yeah. and mm. people are chilling. So it's like, what's the big deal? But to whom much is given, much is expected. Yeah. I think people are forgetting that aspect. Like we won't even be talking about you and what you're doing in your house because we don't care. But this is from Kakidele. So and those people have not <laughs> uploaded videos of their social gathering on social media. And they don't media. have like, not, videos of them telling you, mm -hmm. please stay safe in digital adverts, <laughs> guys. <laughs> five, <laughs> five minutes. Says wash your hands daily. You know we're not doing all that. So yeah, and people need to understand that. But mm, it, at the end of the day, they're humans. And I think this parting thing is a spirit that Nigerians are possessed with, mm -hmm. and we just need to start fighting and praying and casting it out, and just re realize that this thing is gonna go, and we just need a few more days, months, whatever. If we're lucky, it all really depends on how well we practice the social distancing, and then we can go back to our lives the sooner the we need to sooner than we. You know, we have to. Yeah. So, I've yeah. seen I've seen comments on social media. I mean, we mentioned it this morning, and people are saying some people are saying, "Uh, uh it's too much." Now nah, she has apologized, which I said. It's okay, apology accepted. I mean, apology but, accepted, but apology does not negate consequences. But Nigerians do, do that do for you? everything. They do that for rapists. Yeah. You know, they do exactly. that for murderers. I mean, yeah. They're like, "Uh, uh guys, they God um, punish the something." Yeah, and, forgive me. Uh, I said sorry. Now, until we get like, to the point where we sick. hold each other accountable, we cannot get better as a people. Yeah. You see people saying, uh, "Let's maintain this." same energy when it comes to the federal government oh i also saw one where they said that so these people actually see what is going on on social media and they ignore us when we talk about power and all that but i want to correct that notion i mean i might be wrong but this is my personal opinion i think that lagos state government 
pay a whole lot of attention on social media. Maybe the federal government do, not even maybe. They probably don't, right? Yeah. But when it comes to Lagos State government, if you have checked sure. the the history, I mean, Sydney say Walker, a week or two weeks back and all, I said two weeks, yes back, two, three years back, you know, they pay attention and they actually listen. Even from when Sonwolu entered, most of the things, I'm okay, let me bring the very mundane one, when he used to point fingers, can you remember that? And he stopped, I, I know that's really the, the, the joke part, but there are so many things that have come up um, in the um, their policies and their decision making yeah. that have actually started from social media. So if you want to drag the federal government, I, I, I'm not going to say yeah, uh, no or yes, but when Lagos it comes to Lagos, Lagos State, State, they've Lagos. actually been paying attention. You know, again, the reason why the Lagos State government had to take this up with Funke Akindele and JJ Skills because she's a celebrity. If they mm -hmm. don't do something about them, yeah. other people will see it as a leeway to defy these orders. So I, I want to say kudos to, to the Lagos State government for taking this up seriously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, I mean, Baba Jide Sanwolu, people thought it sounded pretty slow when he was elected gov governor. Mm -hmm. but I think COVID-19 has given him the opportunity yeah, to show so that to he let can be a leader. leader. So I mean, hey, let's hope that he maintains this space. I'm the man for the job. I'm here mm -hmm. to do something. So let, yeah. let's see That's how this will go. He's on, married on to a doctor. That, you know. So that obviously will play a big part in pillow talk. Like, honey, I think you need to sanitize the roads. <laughs> <laughs>